All right, guys, got something cool to show you. Look at these. Picked up two mopeds. They're both Tao Tao's, some Chinese brand. Sorry about the lighting. I think one's a 2012, one's a 2014. Both not running right now, but they're the same model, so I can take all the parts off one, put it on the other. Should be able to get it to run. So it really shouldn't be that much of a problem. This one has a 100cc big bore kit on it, I believe. This one came with, it was either a 100 or an 88 or something, cc big bore kit. I think it had like, let's see what we got, all the paperwork. Got some heads, uh, exhaust, air filter. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's the old carb. He said he changed the carb, but he wasn't even sure if that was the problem with one of them. So I'll have something to tinker with, with these guys. Um, and then hopefully they'll be really good pit bikes. Don't think I'm going to start working on them today. Um, but probably sometime next week I'll break out the tools. Got my nice toolbox too. Got this for free. Oh, I don't know if I said the price. So the guy, he listed both of them for $150. I show up, he says, shoot me an offer. I just offered him 120 bucks. And he, he said no to that offer and told me $100. So I got two scooters for $100. So I don't know, world's cheapest scooter builds, 50 bucks each. Not sure if I'm gonna end up with two runnable ones. I mean, that's the end goal is to get two running. But first things first, I wanna get this blue one running. I'm gonna get it running. I'm gonna fix everything that's wrong with it. The tail lights busted back here and he said something's grounding out so it won't start. Um, so I'm gonna take the tail light off this one, put it here, or I can probably buy a new tail light and put it on there, no problem. Oh, the um, front fork's a little messed up where the wheel isn't at the same angle as this. I don't know if I can show you. Handlebars are straight and the wheel's a little bit crooked. Yeah, so I'm gonna uh, kind of Frankenstein these things, get them together, what do we got? 1,326 miles, 3,176 miles. The guy said this one ran last year and then he couldn't get it running. He changed the carb. I don't even know how this comes off. Yeah, new carb. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll tinker around. It's obviously zip tied together and shit. They're rough, but they should be fun and they'll be great pit vehicles. Back at the scooters, finally got some time off. Um, Sorry about the lighting. I don't have the power going in here right now. I don't know where the extension cable is. But um, what I'm gonna work on today is this blue scooter here. Um, this is the one that's in better condition. And the guy said that this light got rear-ended and for whatever reason, the whole thing's messed up, but for whatever reason, um, it never started after that. All right, I got a Kickstarter roughly attached battery's completely flat on this let's give this a whirl oh fell off of course well I uh, stripped the bolt off uh, maybe nope it's done no these neurals are fucked this probably isn't meant for this bike all right um why don't I get a uh, the jump pack going, I'll go find a extension cable and we'll try try that starter. Alright, so I got lights going. More importantly, that's a blinker. Um, I don't know how they work. You push in to be done? Seems to be. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, so that's left. Push in to stop, right. Push in to stop. Headlights. Ooh. Maybe that's headlights, or I might not have enough juice for that either. I honestly don't know what like most of these switches do. We have enough for blinker. Let's uh, try the starter. It's in the starter position. Nothing. So we got a no start. No, no crank even. 
I'm, I'm wondering if I could get that to work, if it would actually go. I don't know, the knurls on it are really messed up. If I could get like a, a channel lock or something, I might be able to kind of ghetto make it work. I don't know if the guy even tried to kickstart it or if he just said, oh, the starter's busted, so. All right, I gotta stop trying to do that. I'm just really messing up the knurls on this now. Um, so I guess I gotta try and get the starter to work. Which, if it doesn't, I can get parts off this guy. This one, I don't have the key yet. The guy couldn't find it, but whatever. I'll leave that for now. I think I need to figure out what's going on back here, so I think I'm going to start taking stuff apart there. All right, I took all the bolts off here, but it's not coming off at all. But I'm still pretty sure this is the starter here. And so the wiring goes up and kind of back up here. So, I'm going to see if I can take this off, because I don't know how you get to the light, and he said when it was hit, that's when it stopped working, so I feel like there's something back here, so I'm going to work on taking this off, see what we get. Alright, so as expected, the full thing comes on out. So that's great, that comes out, get a really good view of everything in here now, so I can see the starter, I don't know where the wiring goes. But, let's see, it goes to here, which is a solenoid of some sorts, and then that goes all the way. Okay, so one thing I noticed, so this is modified, I don't actually know, this is some controller. Yeah, this is CDI controller, but I think spliced into it, and I don't know what this is for, is this really sketchy fused wire where the fuse just kind of holds them together. It's not even like a proper inline fuse thing and it's just out in the open. The fuse is good. If it'll focus. I don't know if you can see it. The fuse looks good. I don't know. That could be the issue. But I thought maybe... No, because this wire, which it goes to this sol starter solenoid, that's this. So that goes all the way to hot. I might try just attaching hot and seeing if it starts. Um, I don't know if this controller's messing up or something. I know this isn't the stock engine, but it, it shouldn't stop me from starting it. Yeah, I mean, everything looks fine. I don't see any rips and tears. I don't see any messed up things. I, I just, I mean, the biggest thing for me is I don't know what stock and what isn't. I don't know, maybe I can, um, I might be able to just bypass it and see if I can just get the starter to go. Because, I mean, that's directly, that's directly to the battery. So that's getting 12 volts. Where does the switch I just don't know where the switch goes. Like, what? Oh, there's... The... Okay, so this is the activation wire on the solenoid. Okay, so this wire activates the solenoid. It goes to this connector. So, this wire... Seems like these are just all Velcroed in. I don't see how this crashing would have anything to do with that circuit. So, it's making me wonder if this is our culprit. I don't know if like just unplugging all these additional things might make it start or not. I do not know. I, don't, I can't see where it goes in. I think it goes into a loom. Yeah, so these three all go into this one loom, it appears. And that loom is spliced out to this. No, that, that has to be stock then if it's all part of this loom. But I am seeing electrical tape. So then it comes down to this loom, it goes all the way back in here, and that goes to this box. So this box might be screwing us. I don't know what this wiring is. This is what happens when you buy stuff that's been messed with. I'm gonna just throw this one on. This isn't tightening at all. Oh, it did tighten. Okay. So we got hot, we got cold. Let's check out if we have any amount of power. So this should light up. 
It didn't. But I don't know if this test light even works, so... Yeah, she's super dead. I might have to switch the batteries, but let's get the jump pack going. Nothing. That fuse and everything might be part of it. Alright, stuff keeps getting a little weirder. Kind of making me a little suspicious about the wiring and stuff that's done here. Because you can see on this other scooter, it has that same cable with the fuse, but it has an actual nice box. Um, then there's this, which I'm guessing this is just the stock controller, in that, yeah, that has to be it. And then this is just the new controller. So it does need all of that. I, I just can't see how if none of this works, what's this green wire? See, look, we keep digging deeper. I kind of have to think about this a little bit. Not 100% sure. I don't really know, honestly. I was going to change, swap the batteries, but I can't even get this negative terminal off because it's like crushed and there's like a square back nut in the back of it that it just keeps spinning around. So I can't get that out. All right, dug around a little bit more. Um, so as I showed this really sketchy fuse setup, I don't think the fuse is blown. I might just swap them just to try. I also don't understand why it's a super sketchy thing. Like why, they must have broke the old connector. Um, new controller should be fine. I don't see why it shouldn't be. These wires are fine. Really this fuse confuses me. And then there's these green and red wires that I don't know where they go. They're not on the other bike. Oh, and there's a stripped red wire. And I don't know where they go, so I don't know. They might be wiring for headlights or something? Oh, no. I think I might have found it. I think they were wiring like a phone charger or something up here. Interesting. Okay. Then I don't have to worry about it because these are just bare wires. They don't go anywhere. Let's check the other one. I don't think there's anything of that sort there. No, there's a... There is wire. Is that for the starter? Maybe that's why it's not going. Where does that, what do those go to? And why are these appreciably smaller? I have no idea. All right, we're gonna do something a little sketchy-ish. So you can't really see it, but I pulled the boot off of the starter. Yeah, you can see the contact right there. So, it should be grounded through its chassis, and this, all of this, is this is just the solenoid that basically says, send the full battery power to the starter. And that way you can just use a little switch so that the power doesn't go to the switch. It's, how sol it's why you use solenoids. So, if I can run the hot lead there, and then just ground out the other lead... It should technically turn over, and if it doesn't, or something burns, then I know that the starter's messed up. All right, so I'm gonna set this up somewhere. Um, so I should be able to ground anywhere, and then this I'm gonna... Yeah, it gets really sketchy, but I'm gonna touch that. This is, this is no battery at all. This is off of a jump pack. I can't touch anything grounded, so I gotta be careful. But it should turn over now, except it's not making a connection. This jump pack's junk. Oh, there we go. Try again, round two. Let's try round two. This should turn over. It's turning over. All right. So it's turning over, but it's not really doing anything. So that leads me to believe the something on the starter is messed up. So I might have to take out the starter. It might not be really engaging anything. And then it also doesn't explain where in this circuit isn't letting this start it. I'd love to keep working, but I think this is the end of this video. Um, tinkered around with this a bit. It's not 
I, I, it's worse in some ways and not worse in other ways than what I thought it was. So the starter works as we just saw. I turned the lights off. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to plug them back on. So starter works. Starter switch doesn't work. So the solenoid might be bad, but I don't know. Um, the starter turned over, but it wasn't turning the motor over, which means it might not be engaging on the CVT because it looks, no, that's at the engine side. So that, it might not be engaging into the engine. I might have to swap starters, and then I'm gonna have to check out the belts and the CVT and everything. I think I can actually get this to work though. So yeah, I don't know, I'm greasy, I'm sweaty. I need to shower and make dinner and not work on a Tau Tau scooter all day. I think I'm stuck not working for now. Um, so the plan is, I'm going to get it started, I'm going to make all the wiring and lights work, um, so I'm going to swap the back tail lights off, make sure the front works, I'm going to uh, make sure the brakes are good, once all of that's good I'm going to do a service, so I'm just going to like change everything, I'm going to change all the fluids, probably going to change the spark plug, um, just service it, make sure it's good, and then I should be able to ride it. Then it comes down to this other one, I'm going to need... Unless the guy I bought it from can find me the key and whatever. I'm going to need uh, to buy a new barrel. Basically the whole key mechanism and a key. Install that. Figure out what is going on with these zip ties. This one was definitely ran more. I mean it has like three times the miles on it. You couldn't even see that. Whatever. But it has like three times the miles. So this one is ridden harder. This is janky as all hell. I'm not really believing all the stories I heard. This one definitely seems like in better shape, but it's not running. So I will get this running first, then we'll focus on that. But that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Um, this is Jake from the Dead Horse Beaters. We'll see you in the next one.